Eckhart, if it Eckhart today. That's the outside world. The outside world. And god damn, my glasses are all glaring. Get off my face. Right there. Oh. I my coat for a second. So I take my glasses off. Glasses must come off the face. And go in the pocket. Way, way home from my boyfriend's house. And I painted my nails. Painted my nails. They're already kind of getting fucked up. But yeah, look at that. Something you don't see in my videos very often the outset world. Welcome to my channel. If you did not know, my name is Paula. Now you know. Oh, today's going to be a different kind of video. I'm traveling home. talkative person in the car. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Michigan 1 North, Woodward Avenue. Oh, and don't mind Siri. So how are y'all doing today? I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm tired. That's a big brush pile in the middle of a parking lot. Taking Woodward. Continue on Michigan One North for seven miles. Oh my goodness, me oh my. Oh, excuse me, why? Big old truck. 
big old flatbed truck. Oh, yes, please. Thank you, lovely. Yeah, I do apologize for all of the flipping yawns that I've been doing. I hope I'm not making you guys have yawn attacks while you're watching my video. that are under the age of 18 that watch my channel or will be watching my channel, don't smoke cigarettes. Just because you see me do it, don't do it. They are obnoxiously hard to uh, not smoke. I should have never started in the first place. to make sure that I always remind you of that. Maybe not in all my videos, but cigarettes are bad for you.
I haven't taken Square Lake Road in a long time. It's got some nice scenery. truck take eight or four of them out with this trailer. <laughs> it was awesome. But kind of sad at the same time because I'm pretty sure it popped one of his tires. Well, that's what you get when you're a truck driver and you don't pay attention to where your trailer's at. So, if you ever drive a truck with a trailer, always have to be mindful where your trailer's at. Like, seriously. Like, before I uh, helped my buddy move his truck and trailer, it wasn't like a semi-truck or nothing like that. 
I never drove anything with a trailer on it. So I was so freaking confused. But he gave me very good instructions. And it's far harder than it looks. Like, way harder. Especially if you're a first-timer with a trailer. <laughs> Can you drive with, with the trailer? How tough was it for you to learn? I did not most of the time in the military, so not hard. Not hard? Well, that's good. Military trains you good. They're very good at that. Wow, that person wanted over. I think that's the first time we've been cut off. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. Yeah, people that drive in Michigan, a lot of people should not have their license in Michigan. I'm sorry, but it's probably the same thing for a lot of other places. But Michigan drivers... Look! They're buttheads. They're mean. They think that they own the road. No. The state owns the road. The city owns the road. The towns own the roads. Not you. That's how people get crucified. signal. We got cut off twice just then. I right. Almost home. Oh, 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 oh. I need to get light bulbs. Like house light bulbs. I keep forgetting to do that. Because I need to replace the one in the, uh, the little thing outside on the porch. And I don't even know how to open that little light thing. The last time I attempted to open one of those things, I broke it. It actually just, like, shattered in my hand. I barely touched it. I, I was like, I'm never touching one of those again. Ever. Ever. And lo and behold, my house has one. But the last time I tried to open it, it was frozen shut. With my luck, it's probably, uh, uh, rusted shut. I don't have very good luck when it comes to those kind of things. Like at all. I think you guys have experienced my accent change for the very first time. Like a hardcore accent accent change. Like my 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 my, my uh, I'm still gonna word now. My brain does not know what accent it wants to speak in. And I find it more and more apparent. I feel like one day I'm I'm going to have a permanent accent that I cannot shake. And no, I'm not doing this on purpose. My brain's stuck. In between a rock and a hard place, and it needs to get unstuck because this accent kind of pisses me off. Especially when I have absolutely no control over it. And it just keeps getting deeper. It just keeps getting stronger, babe. Uh, I need to stop freaking out about it. Maybe it'll go away.
my lid is having a seizure right now. I wonder how I look when I do that with my eye. Or when, not when I do that, when my eye does that to me. Because I've never seen myself, my, myself, myself, when I was doing that. It's always intrigued me about how I, my, my face looks when I'm doing that eye twitchy thing. Typically, it does it when I'm outside, out in the open, and uh, also it does it when I'm when I fatigue my eyes too much. I don't know what this accent's about today. I'm not fatigued. I just woke up not a little while ago, not just, but like a couple hours ago, actually. So I guess my brain just wants to fuck with me. Blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. That was far better than it was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, the next time you see me, I will be in my house. Kitten's been in the trash. See how my demeanor's totally changed since I'm not in the car anymore? I don't do well in the car. I don't like cars. I prefer not to be in them. So if you... Did I just step on a cat? No? Okay, cool. So if you look real closely back there... Well, this one's easier to see you see that little black square I actually had to uh, patch up some holes that were in the back that were just covered with tape it was just a quick fix I knew it wasn't going to stay for very long but I knew it was going to stay long enough for at least me to get some uh, silicone but the silicone that I got was black not clear not white black and yes I still had this fucking accent. One second. Hello, my 
food. That, that's from play -Doh. Yeah, you're looking at the ceiling right now. Sorry. So I may, may slightly overfeed my fish, but. My fish didn't get as big as they are from just giving a little tiny pinch to them and saying, hey, we're good. No, that's, that's not a thing that happened. Not with me. I'd rather overfeed than underfeed because I got a fuck ton of bottom feeders. That and I got a bunch of plants. They keep getting dug up by the Placos. The big guys, anyway. But yeah. But if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, send a comment down below. And as always, you, yes you, I'm going to say this in my accent, have a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing day. Bye now.